Hello and welcome to Shara's Craft Haven. Today we're going to be making a simple box. Um, there are lots of box generators out there, um, but learning these skills will allow you to not only make custom boxes, but also you'll be able to expand to make um, all sorts of other custom shapes. And uh, let's get to it. So here we have um, Inkscape. Uh, you're going to start with the dimensions you want to end up with. So it's really important that um, you know where you're going in the very beginning. Since we're going to be adding things that have to do with the thickness of the material, we can't scale it. Things won't slot together correctly. So I will just make a simple box. Let's make it 4 by 4 and then I'm going to shift over to millimeters. Um, it's easier since I know the thickness of my wood in millimeters to so just make it all in that. I also uh, set up my document to be the same size and units as the laser box. So 500 by 300 millimeters. And this should have a scale of 1. And then it's landscape. All right, so I'm going to hold down control and mouse roll in forward. And here is going to be the bottom of our box. I'm going to do control D to duplicate. And then I'm going to have a side that's half as tall. So I'm going to set a width of 50 millimeters. And then I'm going to change the color. Um, for a simple box, this isn't as important. Um, but if you're doing complicated shapes, things that have to interlock, pieces you're not going to necessarily see, um, by color coding, it saves you a lot of time, especially if you're prototyping and you, uh, you make something and you change it. Um, it allows you to easily update just the pieces that are affected um, and create a new print file. Um, we're going to do the same thing, control duplicate, and then I'm going to use this rotate. And this will be our top. And again, I'm going to create it as a different color. Go bright magenta. All right, um, shift control A brings up the align tool. Um, I always align to last selected, um, but you can choose that. And then we're going to align the edge and center. We're going to do that for both of these. Um, I like to keep things in the orientation that they're going to end up in. That way um, you can make sure something's off before you <laughs> before you laser it. So here we go. Um, the wood I'm going to be using for this example is three millimeters thick. So that's going to be the size of our tabs. I'm just using the arrow keys to move them a little bit away to have our tabs available. And then uh, pieces that I add on, I usually color code either black um, or another, you know, black or green, something like that. And then things I'm going to take away, I code as red. So I think for this, we're going to have tabs that are three millimeters thick. So the width is going to be three millimeters. And then I'll just go for 15 millimeters tall. It's a good big size. And then I try and stay away from corners um, when creating tabs. So we're just going to duplicate that, select both, use the align tool, and space that out. So I'm going to duplicate again, align it to the bottom, duplicate again, select both, and then put it to the top. And then I'll just add one in the middle of the piece. All right, so we've got some tabs. Um, these are coming out from this piece. So they'll be going into this piece. I'm selecting all of these, Control D for duplicate. And then I'm gonna align these so that they are aligned on the right side, sharing the edge. And then I'm gonna hold down Shift, unclick, the base, and then I'm going to turn these red. So they're going to come out of that piece. All right. 
So this piece is going to be sitting like this. So it's going to be sitting on that. So we're going to have this then slot out into this piece up here. And so to do that, I'm going to control D for duplicate, control G for group, and then I'll rotate it. And then that will be our out tab. We'll have it the same on both sides. So control D to duplicate. And then we'll just leave the top. You'll be able to see how this will slot in. So then I'm going to ungroup, control U, control D, duplicate, and then I'm going to align this along that edge. So that'll slot into both this and into that. And it helps to change the orientation. That way, since these top edges are aligned, um, we know that these are going to match up. So we'll do the same. So now, this is since this is slotted in, we're going to have this come out. Otherwise, if these were both in, they'd both hit in the corner. So I'm going to group this, Control-G, realign it to this side, and then we'll work on these. So I'm just going to steal, control, group, control, duplicate, rotate 90, and then I'm going to center this up here, duplicate it, align to the bottom, and then I'm going to change this color here to green because it's an Audi. So this is going to be inset, that's going to be outset. If you wanted to change the um, the size of the sides, you could play around with whether you want this to be longer than that. You could do some um, some playing around um, if you want a different aesthetic. If you want all of these to be in versus out, um, you could do that easily. Since we're just doing a simple box, I'm going to speed through adding these all the way around. And then I'm going to select, duplicate, and then you can either rotate twice or mirror. And then I'll have this over here. And then duplicate group. And put this down here. All right, this is, you were just checking, make sure things look like they will slot together. So make sure everything's lined up and it looks like it is. Um, this is where I save. So we'll just save this as box. And then um, we'll go ahead and make the print ready file. Um, this uses the path uh, menu option. Um, you have to make sure everything's ungrouped, otherwise the path functions won't work. Um, all the green in this are being combined, so we're going to do path union or path combine. And so now we got a finished piece. All of these are being cut away. So again, ungrouping, holding down shift to unselect the blue. We're going to do path union. Now all the red is one piece. Shift and then click the blue and do our cookie cutter path difference. All right. All right, um, here's our design. Um, you can check your design by holding down shift and then choosing a path and then taking away shift and left clicking no fill. And we can see if anything was messed up. It's really important to not have a stroke while you're doing this because um, that can uh, mess up some of the alignment and it can lead to 
piece is being detached. So you're going to want to make sure, again, to use that um, pat, that stroke function to just make sure we don't have any pieces that are being cut off. And I'll move this a little way. All right, so now we can save this as box print, um, and we can rearrange these to conserve material. So as always, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. We've got over 200 subscribers. I know that doesn't seem like a lot to, to other people, but it's huge for me. So I appreciate all the support. Um, there are affiliate links in the description uh, to my favorite wood. If you want to get any X-Tool machines, accessories, and materials, please use the affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything, and it goes a long way as to keeping this channel going. Thanks a lot, and have fun lasering.